The Australian born Timofei Zhu was once on top of the world, becoming a WBO world champion at 154 and running through the division's best contenders. After gaining more popularity, he was quickly given an opportunity to unify the division's titles against the 6'6 towering inferno Sebastian Fundora. This match was for the WBC and WBO world titles at 154. Zeus started the fight finding his distance, getting in close and using the most important weapon an orthodox fighter can use against a southpaw, the right hand. At the end of the first round, Zhu lands two big right hands that literally ends up breaking Fundora's nose. But just as Zhu began getting momentum, an accidental head clash left him with one of the worst cuts you'll see in boxing. His head was continuously leaking blood and it obviously had an effect on him. On top of that, Fandora used this as an opportunity to use his 10 inch reach advantage to keep Zhu at bay with his jab. This led to Fandora winning by a split decision and Tim Zhu getting his first professional loss. Zhu did admit, however, that this didn't feel like a loss. A gruesome cut on the top of the head would lead most fighters to understandably quit in the corner. However, not only did Zhu fight on, he only lost by a split decision. So it's safe to say that this fight didn't do a lot to lower his momentum. I didn't come out of it as a loser. And, and I came out after a, a nice holiday, um, rejuvenated and refreshed and I was ready to go. And I felt like um, there was so much support and there was still so much momentum and it was, it wasn't a loss. I didn't, I didn't feel it as a loss. Seven months later, he would be matched up against undefeated IBF world champion Bakram Murtazaliev who had previously become a champion in his last bout against Jack Kolke in a fight that was an absolute slugfest, where both fighters stood in front of each other and traded shots. The ninth round was the epitome of this fight. Mutazaliev gets caught with an overhand right that stuns him and sends him to the ropes. Kolke gets some shocks off on him on the ropes before getting caught with a right by Mertaziliev and getting hurt right back. Heading into the 11th round, the unofficial scorecards had it 5 to 5, dead even a draw. Mertaziliev started the 11th round by landing a left hook that hurts Kolke and follows up with combinations. Kolke had noticeably slowed down in this round, and another left hook plus a flurry of punctures was enough to drop him and end the fight. Now we're going to go into Zhu vs Mertaziliev and we're going to break down and see where Zhu went wrong and where Mertaziliev went right. At the 2 minute mark of the first round, we see Zhu land his first scoring shot to the fight. A jab right hook making Ziliev lean back as he lands a left hook to the body. This gets Zhu going so he walks in and is able to break Ziliev's guard with a 1-2. Zhu is now getting more comfortable in the fight and not long later he cashes in with another 1-2. So now Zhu stays in the pocket with Ziliev and has 50-50 exchanges with him, not moving back when counters come. Unfortunately this will lead to his downfall. As Zhu simply tries to walk in and land a left hook to the body, Ziliev throws a left hook upstairs to his low right hand. And in the same round, Zhu moves back in a straight line dropping his hand. Zaliev with his feet already lunging in from throwing his right hand, takes advantage by landing a power jab, with his momentum amplifying the blow. 